We're here at the Two Rivers. We're celebrating 10 exciting years of James Moria being at the reins of the Centum Group. My name is Pais Moshirimugo, the Managing Director of Nabo Capital, and you're watching Invest in Africa. Inutu, welcome. Thank you, Pais. Let me just start by asking you, what exactly do you do here at the Centum Group, and how has James's reign impacted on you? So I'm Managing Director for Two Rivers Development Limited, and welcome to Two Rivers. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. We, look, we look forward to more of this happening. Mm, yes. I've been with the, with the Two Rivers. I came in from Zambia mm -hmm. to head Two Rivers as a development company. Mm -hmm. And part of Two Rivers, of course, everybody knows them all, mm -hmm. which is one of the subsidiaries to Two mm -hmm. Rivers Development Limited. Mm -hmm. We also have Two Rivers Water, mm -hmm. Two Rivers Power, mm -hmm. two, rivers, two Rivers Urban Management as mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. So my role here is to actualize the development into a fully fledged urban node, mm -hmm. creating a population of around about mm -hmm. 10,000 uh, by the end of seven years. Mm -hmm. So that's what I've come to do. Mm. I've been with the group, coincidentally, 10 mm. months. Yes. <laughs> and as you earlier said, one, one month for every year yes. <laughs> of, of, uh, of James's uh, time here yes. at um, time here at Centre. Mm. It is a very exciting time. I think one of the, one of the most significant things was um, Centre actually moving their offices here to Two Rivers. Mm. That gives us a lot of uh, a lot of pride mm. to be able to have the Centum group being hosted here as their head office. Mm. In terms of my interactions with James, of course naturally being head of Two Rivers Development and being on the same floor with him, their interactions will be several. Yes. Um, and he is an excellent communicator. I mm. think that is one of the things that I've come to really appreciate about mm. James is mm. his level of communication and engagement with management team. Mm. Mm. He, um, his attention to detail as well mm. is something that I have come to appreciate and learn his management style. Mm. Mm. Uh, 10 months is not very long and I'm mm. sure there will be many more years of learnings mm. on my side. Mm. One of the things I think that um, touches, well, has, has impacted me greatly is James's ability to give a 360 view mm. when he's in a meeting. Mm. He will sit there and listen to everybody and mm. at the end of the meeting do this 360 that I find absolutely admirable. Mm. It's a skill I'd also love to learn. Yes. Um, in, in, he's, he's perfected the ability to, to look at things from a 360 view. Mm. And I think that also comes from being in leadership for 10 years. Mm. Because in a leadership position, such as being a group CEO for Centum, mm. there would be a lot of skill that you have to develop. And I think more and more interactions as every year goes on, you mm. improve. Mm. You improve. So it's um, I, I, it's it's nice to work with James. Mm. Um, he's very energetic, yes, um, and uh, very focused. Yes, and uh, and I like that about him. Yeah, and I've enjoyed my ten months here. Yeah. yeah. So you know, to you, I've seen your CV. It's very well decorated. Thank you. you. So you moved from Zambia mm -hmm. to Kenya. Yes. What what was what what was going through your mind as you were considering to come to join the Centum Group? What did James tell you? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> so um, I, so my my first meeting with James yes. was um, at Old Pool Restaurant, and um, he was talking about the vision for Two Rivers. Um, initially, I had been approached, and I came very covertly. Mm -hmm. I didn't tell anybody I was coming, and I came to Two Rivers yes. to see it, um, as I didn't want to be managed. Mm -hmm. I wanted to see it on my own. Mm -hmm. It is a very exciting development and mm. I think the excitement and the vision behind it mm. is what actually made me come here. Mm. It's um, housing the largest mall in East and Central Africa. Mm. There's a heavy investment in infrastructure. The thought process behind what is it in terms of what pain points do we address mm. when, we, when a developer comes in. Mm. Those have all been addressed in terms of the approvals and mm. the infrastructure, mm. the master planning, which is a key thing. Mm. Also, um, I like to say this, Nairobi is Lusaka on steroids. That's my very favorite <laughs> saying. So, so you want to go into a, a, high, a high environment, a high performing environment. Yes. And I think Centum has actually done that. They've created that sort of ability. Yeah. So my moving to Zambia to, um, to Ke from Zambia to Kenya, yes was um, I like a challenge. Yes. Um, 
I'm adventurous. Yes. So you, <laughs> <laughs> you can see. But also, you want to be able to play a role in shaping a city. Yes. I've played a role in the in the Zambian property market, shaping yes. the landscape, the real estate landscape mm. through the various things. I also did 10 years of Pam Goldie. Yes. So I understand. I could probably relate a little bit to where James is yes. today. So in that process of reflection, yes. um, you know, then the, then the tour of us opportunity came along. So mm. that was it. Yeah. It was um, from Lusaka to Nairobi. Yeah. yeah, I like that. So you moved to a high steroid environment. Yes. In centre me, it is. It is. It is. <laughs> it's tested so. me. <laughs> Stretched me. Yes. yes. So it's been very exciting ten years. What would be your parting shot to James and the Centum shareholders and any other investors mm -hmm. um, considering Centum in terms of the outlook? especially around the, the, the real estate and the two rivers? I think um, my, my personal message to James is to be able to continue with his leadership, um, to be able to give us as business heads the insight to stretch us, because I think that is something that uh, we, we all need. We mm. all need a group CEO who will stretch us to think more, to think deeper and mm. to think more critically. Also, to not forget what the vision is for mm. the city, mm. you know, to be able to say, this is where we're going and don't forget that mm. and continue to focus on that. Mm. Um, and I think also encouragement, mm. because um, sometimes as, as, as a leader, as I'm sure mm. you've experienced it yourself being MD for NABO, mm. there are those dark days mm. where it, it, is, it is hard, it is tough. Mm. And um, th sometimes talking to the, you cannot talk to the outside world, you know, mm. as they say, it's a very lonely place to be it's at the top. And the only other people we can talk to are our peers or our group CEO to be able to give us encouragement and mm. show us that, look, this is where we're going. Don't worry, it's going mm. to be okay. Mm. Uh, and it will be okay. Mm. I know it is okay. The, I think the market has been very tough over the last two years. We've mm. seen what um, what 2018 has been like. It was not as great as we all thought it would be across mm. each sector. It's mm. not just real estate. I think mm. across every sector, it's been mm. quite challenging. Mm. Um, so the outlook is... You know, we are looking at a, an average of about a 5.8% 5 5 growth mm. in the Kenyan economy. I think that is very good. Mm. And my parting shot really to the shareholders is that mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. we are where we are mm -hmm. because of that, mm. because of their faith in us. Mm. And we will continue to faithfully fly the flag high for mm. two rivers mm. and continue with the vision that they, that they started. Mm. And myself and my team, we are mm. totally dedicated to unveil, to building this note to what it should be. Mm. Thank you so much, uh, Inutu. It's uh, been a pleasure to have Inutu. And as you can see, Inutu is just 10 months old into the Centum Group. So, and she is adding to the, to the energy that uh, the Centum Group has been experiencing over the last 10 years. So I think it's going to be another exciting 10 years. Thank you. Thank you so much. My name is Paz Mushiru Mugo, the Managing Director of Nabo Capital, and you're watching Invest in Africa. Thank you for watching. <laughs>